So today we're creating this extremely extravagant triple decker kawaii ice cream cake. Yo, they're cuties you guys. Every single one of them is a cutie. I love the colors, I love their faces, I love the feelings and the emotions on the faces. I love the emotions on my face right now. I'm excited so let's get started. Now to create this cake, I'm using a lot of different cake sizes. And the first are three six inch half dome cakes. And I thought they were a little too round, so I trimmed away the sides just so that they would look a little taller and not so much like a full circle. Now I'm using vanilla box cakes, but I wanted to experiment a little bit. So each ice cream layer has a different mix-in. First one has chopped mangoes and honey. The second has strawberries and cream cheese. And the last one is just mixed with mini chocolate chips. Now I repeated this process with all three cakes and then I gave all of my cakes a crumb coat before placing them into the fridge to chill. I'm getting like so fancy with my box cakes mix-ins. You guys ever watch uh, Semi Homemade? Sandra Lee, she would be proud. Let's create my ice cream cones. I'm using two five inch round cakes. I wanted the bottom of the cakes to be tapered. So I cut out a smaller shape using a cookie cutter, placed it on top and just matched the sides to the five inch round cake. And then I cut a hole in the middle of each of the cakes so that I could fit in my dowel. Then it was time to start stacking my cakes. I added some buttercream into the middle and then gave it a crumb coat. I thought it was too short so I added a layer of Rice Krispies treats to give it more height. Then I started to work on the top of the cone. I cut the top of the cone in half hollowed out the center for my dowel and then began to stack them. Now for the cone, I'm using vanilla box cake as well, but I mixed in Nutella. You can mix Nutella into like all of your baking things and it's golden. Even like pies, like if you have like a cherry pie, you mix in Nutella, you got a Nutella cherry pie. Gosh. I gave my cones a crumb coat and then I placed them into the fridge to chill. And while they were chilling, I was doing Netflix and chilling. And I was watching this movie that you guys recommended called The Kissing Booth. That was the most frustrating movie. <laughs> so the story was all right. But the idea, Netflix was trying to get me to believe that this Greek chiseled sculpture of a man was a high school kid. Why? The movie is about this high school boy and girl that fall in love, except the boy looks like he's in his 20s. Come on, Netflix. You're telling me that this man is a, a high school student? How many years was he held back? He was a senior like five times. <laughs> if you haven't watched the movie, go watch it on Netflix and let me know in the comments if you believe that he is a high school student. I'm not bagging on the movie really and I follow all of them on Instagram, but I just do not think that that guy should have been casted as a high school student. Now let's get back to the cakes. I gave all of my cakes another coat of frosting and this is my fix it coat of buttercream so I can just smoothen out all of the rough areas that I messed up early on. I was trying to be very specific about the layers like I wanted the strawberry to be the pink layer, the mango I wanted to be the white layer, and then the blue would be the chocolate chip layer. I don't know why but it didn't even matter in the end because I couldn't tell which cake was which. It's still cake and they're all still gonna be in your mouth so doesn't really matter. Now to my dome cakes, I added on some fondant and then using my veining sculpting tool, I just worked the bottom of the fondant into the cake. I didn't cut away the excess, I just pressed it until it was underneath the cake. Then I pulled away the excess. This is like the cleanest edge I've ever gone on a cake. I just repeated this process with my other two dome cakes. I think this color scheme is just as cute as the faces on these cakes. They're so bright, so vibrant, very kawaii. For my ice cream cone, I covered the top and the bottom separately because I didn't really know what I was doing. And I thought that that would be the easiest way to go about this. I added fondant to the top, smoothened it out, then cut away a nice straight edge using my IKEA parent knife. I usually use this IKEA knife, um, but I think I might do away with it. I found a pack of knives like these at Pick and Save for a dollar. The blade is thinner so I get better results. So that's why I've been using this. 
It's so much better. You're not doing the job anymore, Ikea knife. You're fired. Now for the bottom of the cone, I wrapped fondant around it because I was scared that it was gonna crap if I covered it from the top down. Then I just trimmed away the excess fondant. Now for the top of the cone, I gave it some trim. I wanted this to have as much coney quality detail as I could give it. For the bottom of the cone, I applied strips of fondant at a 90 degree angle all the way around the cake. Then I repeated that process at a negative 90 degree angle. Yeah, so they have that like waffle cone effect. I like waffle cones better than I like sugar cones. But when it comes to ice cream, I actually don't even care if it has a cone. <laughs> I mean, you could serve it to me on a paper plate and I'd be just as happy. Forget the plate, just scoop it into my hands and I'll just eat it like this and I'll be just as happy. Cones are to ice cream as shoes are to the beach, right? Because you don't need them to get into the water and have a good time. <laughs> Does that make sense? <laughs> now my blue layer is gonna be stacked on top. So I'm adding on some white fun to the top to make it look like white chocolate sauce that I'm pouring on. Now I'm adding on some multicolored Jimmy sprinkles and just very carefully placing each sprinkle where I want it to be. It's like a calculated sort of randomness. And I wanted this ice cream to have a cherry on top, so I'm creating one with a round ball of fondant. And just gave it a little cherry dimple in the middle. And then I wrapped some brown fondant around a wire to give it a cherry stem. And I wanted this to be just as happy as all of my ice cream, so I gave him a koali face as well. Crooked smile, two cute eyes. He's just as much of a lady killer as ice creams. Have you guys ever had a Manhattan cherry before? I think you have to be like 21 and older to eat one. But yo, it's worth the wait. They've got so much flavor. Make sure you try them. And if you've had them, what do you think? Let me know in the comments. Now I forgot to put a hole into the middle of my ice cream. So I took a PVC pipe and just worked it all the way down each of my cakes. Now this isn't the first kawaii food thing I've created. I've also created these awesome peas. Peas in a pod, put peas in a pod. Peas in a pod, put peas in a pod. Is that a Nicki Minaj song? Is that where I got that from? Bees in a trap, right? I will link the video in the description box. Also here, probably not. At the end of the video for sure though, so you can check them out there. Oh, it's, it's in the description box. I'm gonna forget. I know I shouldn't. And this is probably, this should probably be a reminder that I should add a link here. But I, I bet you I won't. I bet you $100 I won't do it. <laughs> <laughs> now to stack my cakes, I took a PVC pipe and super glued it into the middle of my cake board. Once the glue had dried, placed it into the middle of my bottom cone. And then I added a pipe coupler for support as well as a small piece of cardboard. I placed on the top of the cone and then a coupler to support each of my cakes. I just wanted to make sure that each of my cakes didn't get squished down by pressure. On went my next layer of ice cream. And then I trimmed my PVC pipe and added my last layer of cake. Now all ice creams have that like extra ice cream on the side, you know? It's like that leftover residue from the scoop, you know? I should probably like Google it, but it's two in the morning. <laughs> so I'm just gonna continue with the video. Now to add this effect, I wrapped some fondant around each of my cakes and used some fondant sculpting tools to create some texture. And it's just supposed to have a lot of texture. So I left my fondant cracks on the cake as well because I thought it looked authentic. After that, I started to add all of my fondant facial features. And you guys named them. So the white ice cream I'm calling Cotton. I chose it because it reminds me of that song. The, you, oh wait, how does it go? It goes. You'll remember me as a west wind blows upon the fields of Bart. <laughs> it's not even Cotton, it's Bart. <laughs> Whatever, it reminded me of that song, and I love that song. That song is kick-ass, so that's why we're naming it Cotton. Samantha named the pink layer Rosa, and I like Rosa because Rosa was the name of my best friend's grandma when I was in high school, and she made the best meatballs, you guys. Miss Garcia, you don't know who this is because it's been like 15 years since I've seen you, but I wanted you to know 
that you make the best meatballs. And also, your granddaughter used to take money from your stash underneath your mattress. <laughs> Hopefully you caught her, or you decided to get a bank account. Both work. Now Carla named the blue ice cream and she named him Bali. And I chose Bali because it's one of the places that I want to visit on my bucket list. That in Jakarta, I kind of just want to visit all of Indonesia. I saw it on like a travel channel episode and I was like, yo, so pretty over there, let's go over there. Last but not least, Terry named the cherry sunshine. You are my sunshine. Hey, my only sunshine. Hey, you make me happy when skies are gray. I chose sunshine because when I was younger, that song was the jam, you guys. And voila, my triple decker ice cream cake stack was complete. They're all so cute. Every single one is just as cute as the last. Well, except for the, maybe the cherry's the cutest. He's looking like he's standing so tall on top of that ice cream. Now I'm curious, which one of these babies do you think is the cutest? Bali, Rosa, Cotton, or Sunshine? Now thank you to everyone who submitted a name in the community tab. If your name wasn't chosen, don't worry. There are a whole bunch of characters coming out this year and you can name all of them. But make sure you hit that notification button so that you can see everything I'm currently working on in the community tab and you can be a part of future videos. I hope you guys enjoyed this. I love you. I will see you very soon. Peace.